Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing this digital alarm clock made by Heimvision. Now this is a $25 alarm clock that you guys can find on Amazon. Links will be down below this video if you want to go, of course, pick this thing up. Also on Amazon, this thing has 72 reviews, um, at least as of the time of making this video, uh, with an average of five stars. So it seems like everybody that everybody that has bought this thing uh, seems to enjoy it. So hopefully I enjoy it too. Anyways, uh, not much more to say about it. So let's go and just uh, show you around the box. You can see here, digital alarm clock, model number right there, I'm Vision. Two sets of alarm. Okay, so you can set two different alarms. Uh, long battery life. I believe it's about 15 days on a full charge. Uh, Built-in sound sensor, which we'll be trying that out. And am ambient temper temperature. Uh, I couldn't talk there. Um, that's just the temperature of basically your room. Um, this thing doesn't have like a little accessory sensor that goes outside or anything. Um, so that's pretty cool. We'll be testing that out too. Um, on the side here, we have their support email and and stuff like that and that's uh, pretty much it for the box but on the back here uh, we have the specifications which uh, there is that right there if you want to take a look at that there you go and here is the uh, amazon label too so let's go in and open it up looks like you just pull on the top of the box and first of all we have a uh, charge cable which is micro usb right there looks pretty long and uh, let's go and take it out now Anyways, there it is. So what I'm gonna do now is go in and set this up, uh, see if it has the right time ready, and go in and see how it works. All right, so it's now a few days later, and I've went ahead and had a little bit of time to try out this alarm clock. And I have to say, actually, so far, I'm pretty happy with it, um, especially considering the price. So first of all, I just want to go over the different functions of it, uh, basically what each button does. So on the top here, you can see we have the uh, light and snooze button. If you tap that, it just simply brings down the brightness. And then you also obviously have the snooze button right there. So if you have an alarm going on, you get to, and you know it's playing a the uh, a song, which actually it has songs built in, which is pretty interesting. We'll go over that in a little bit. Uh, but you can press snooze, and then it will obviously in turn turn off the alarm. Um, also on the back here, you have few switches here for alarm two and alarm one in this case i have alarm one on uh, you also have your 12 and 24 hour time zone right here you can change between just by simply pressing that button which is pretty cool you also have your uh, celsius and fahrenheit right here you can see changing between them right there and this is only for the interior temperature uh inside your room this isn't going to get the temperature from like outside your house or anything i um, just want to point that out you also back here, yeah, it's back in uh, Fahrenheit, you also have the uh, volume down. See right there. Bring it down to uh, whatever level you want, pretty much. And then it'll stop. And then you also have this uh, button to play between the different tunes. Uh, this is pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and click it. Right there is a speaker. Switch between another one. I think there's about 12 on here. Okay, so it looks like there is a 13. So there that is, it's pretty cool. It has actual songs built in. So if you ever wanna to listen to any one of these, just press that button, cycle to the uh, song you want, and then boom, you can listen to, uh, I guess, music. Um, so there it is. Now I'm gonna go kind of more in depth on how to like set the alarm and uh, so on. 
All right, so uh, to set an alarm, first of all, what you want to do is go on the back here and flip on either alarm one on or alarm two, or you could do even both if you want. Uh, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the alarm set button down, press and hold, and then you'll see here it is blinking now. In this case, I have the alarm set to uh, 5.51 p.m., which was just a couple minutes ago, just for the sake of this video. And from here, nope, looks like it timed out. Let's hold it again. You can see here, you go up or down. On the number there. Pretty cool, that's gonna set it right there. And then press this button again to change the uh, minutes. So you can bring it up or down. Let's go and press it again. And then that'll be your selected uh, ringtone, I guess, if you wanna say. And then this is for alarm two, if you want to set it. And there you are back at the uh, main menu, uh, the main part of it. So there it is, the alarm would be set by then. And then the other thing here is the uh, time set. Uh, so this is just to set the uh, time that you see like right now. So what you do is you hold it down Oh, looks like it's cycled there. Hold it down. And then you can simply, from here, of course, bring up or down the hour. Or even the uh, minute. Right there if you wanted to. Let's go and hold it. And there you go. Then the uh, time would be set. Uh, so there it is. Relatively simple to use, uh, but actually has quite a bit of features, especially that music function. Um, I don't really, I wouldn't really use that like ever, but I'm sure one of you guys, if you got this, I'm sure someone would use that feature. Um, so there it is. Pretty cool. I'm very happy with it so far for the price. So um, I guess what I'm going to do now is go in and give you guys my final opinions. All right, so overall, what do I think of this alarm clock? I would say for the price, it seems to be pretty good. Uh, it definitely looks relatively high end. Honestly, I would say it looks like a really good alarm clock. Um, again, especially considering the price. Um, it has a good amount of features such as that music function, which again, I'm not gonna use, but I'm sure someone out there does use that. Um, and the only complaint I guess that I have is I don't like the fact that this thing really has a battery built in. Now this could be very helpful if maybe you're, I don't know, camping and you need this thing to wake you up in the morning. Um, it would be really helpful then, but otherwise um, with it being battery powered, it has to shut the screen off after I think eight seconds, it says, um, to save battery life. I wish it would stay on, you know, uh, all the time, but again, I knew that when I bought it, so it's not really a big deal. Um, the other thing, so number one, either you can uh, make a loud noise, like I'm going to kind of yell here, hello, there you go, you can see it turned on, so you have to make a loud noise, or I believe it might sense if you touch it, kind of, or like make a vibration, yeah, that's what it is, actually I remember now, in the instruction it says either you can like tap a table, or you could just make a loud noise and it'll turn on. Um, again, that's what it kind of has to do to save battery. Um, otherwise, it'd go dead pretty quickly. Um, so there it is. That's really my only complaint. Just keep that in mind when you're buying this thing. It's going to shut off on its own like it did uh, there a second ago. And you have to either make a noise or tap on the table to turn it back on. Or I believe if you have it plugged in all the time, it will actually stay on. Uh, the screen 24 7. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have it plugged in all the time and um, then I'll have the screen on. Hopefully that doesn't, you know, hurt the battery or anything, but I don't think it will. Anyway, so I'd say for the price, definitely seems to be a pretty good alarm clock. Looks really good and again has a decent amount of features. So, um, yeah, I guess that's really it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.